Hey, hey, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm Chantal. So we have recently finished these two one bedroom apartments looking very nice. We have them on Airbnb now and you know, all ready for guests to come in, which is all good. One of the questions that I often get asked is about the cost. What's the cost of setting up something like this? What's the cost of setting up a place for Airbnb? Obviously, that is all gonna depend on the size of your place. But what I'm gonna do is walk you through the things that I splurged on and the things that I saved to really get the most out of the budget. One of the things that we have to be mindful of on these kind of projects is it's an investment we're designing for profit so we have to think about the budget all the time obviously we want guests to have a beautiful experience we want the place to look really nice but we gotta be sensible as well and there's ways that you can do that and be creative and we're gonna go through some of those things today and if you haven't done already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press that notification bell for new video releases. So to save on the budget, we used a lot of vintage, secondhand things, which really added character to the space. But I think it's always important to splurge on one or two really unique pieces that are gonna provide that wow factor. And for this space, this is one of them. So this piece was something that I saw, I think it was on Pinterest, and took the photo to a furniture maker and asked them if they could make it for me. That's the beauty of being in Bali. Anything's possible. So they knocked it out in about a week and I think they did a really good job. Quality bedding is all about comfort. We spend so much of our time, especially when we're we spend so much of our time in bed, especially when we're on vacation. So we wanna make it as comfortable as possible for our guests. Quality bedding like high thread count sheets and plush duvet covers can make all the difference and it's definitely something that is picked up by guests. Quality towels is also an area where I splurge. So when guests stay at your place and use your bathroom, one of the first things that they'll notice is the towels. Investing in high quality, luxurious towels is a simple yet effective way to impress your guests and make them feel pampered. Lighting is definitely somewhere where I would splurge. And we're not talking about going over the top, but getting really beautiful lighting at pivotal points is gonna make the difference in your space. So think about that. You also wanna think about lighting sources. So having different types of lights are gonna give you different um, moods and really create that ambiance in your room. Now, when it comes to rugs, there are so many options out there from traditional Persian rugs to modern geometric patterns. Personally, I love to mix it up and play with different textures and styles to create visual interest. When it comes to splurging on rugs, I always say go big or go home. A high quality rug can last you a lifetime and become a focal point in your room. So think about investing in a unique handcrafted piece that adds that wow factor to your space. Trust me, it's worth every penny. Now, I know what you're thinking, do I really need professional photos? The answer is a resounding yes. Think about it. When potential guests are scrolling through Airbnb listings, what's gonna catch their eye? Grainy, poorly lit snapshots taken on your phone or crisp, high quality images that showcase your work in the best possible light? I think we both know the answer to that. One, one really savvy way of getting the most out of your budget is to use vintage or pre-loved pieces. So I have used those all throughout, inside and outside, not only to save on the budget, but also they are so rich in character um, that they add so much to the space. This is probably one of my favorite pieces. It's a bookshelf and um, I think it comes from Java, but it has so much character in it. And we have the space for this, it just allows us to showcase certain pieces, just really kept it simple, really great use of this space. But I think this piece was like $100, that's US, sorry, Australian dollars, which is probably about 70 US dollars. So a star buy, and everyone kind of comments on this piece. Now, I know what you're thinking, 
do I really need all these pillows? Well, let me tell you, my friend, when it comes to creating that cozy and inviting bedroom or living room, yes, we do. Here's the thing about soft furnishings. They're like the icing on the cake. Yes, you can have a beautiful bed with crisp, clean linens or a beautiful sofa, but adding a few pillows and fluffy throws and suddenly it's a whole new level of comfort and style. And the best part is soft furnishings are a savvy buy. So it might seem like small details, but trust me, they can make a big impact without breaking the bank. When it comes to interior design, plants are like the unsung heroes. They're not just pretty to look at, but they also have the power to transform your space in ways you never thought possible. And when it comes to savvy buys, plants are always at the top of my list. Think about it. Just a few books, you can pick up beautiful plants that will not only brighten up your room, but also improve your overall well-being. It's a win-win situation. And let's not forget about the styling potential. Plants can be used in so many creative ways to enhance your space, cluster them together on a shelf, go for that lush jungle look add a beautiful feature to an unused corner or use them to add height and dimension to your room. The sky is the limit when it comes to plant styling. Mirrors have the power to transform a room in ways you never thought possible. But here's the best part. Mirrors are incredibly affordable. So for just a few dollars, you can pick up a beautiful mirror that will instantly elevate your space. It's like getting a designer look for the fraction of the cost. And the styling possibilities are endless too. So you can go for a sleek, modern designer mirror or vintage inspired statement piece. There's a mirror that's gonna suit every style and every budget. Now, paint in general is a great way to spruce up a space without spending a lot of money, but adding textures adds another layer of coziness. So I am a huge fan of textured walls. I really don't love plain walls in the main, and it's really something that is quite easy to do. I have a number of videos on different techniques that you can use to add texture to the walls, but since I've been in Bali, I've been doing DIY methods because I don't have that choice and options that I had before in terms of the range. I'd just say experiment and trial and error. <laughs> That's all I'd say is the best way of finding out what's going to work and what's not. But yeah, really savvy way to spruce up your space. Another really great way to save is by using prints. So I love artwork and I've had a number of pieces commissioned, even in this project. I've also used these prints from Etsy. They were just downloadable prints, had them printed for a few dollars, bought these really nice frames and this really elevates this space here. One area I would always be savvy about is the kitchenware. You always got to remember that accidents are going to happen, things are going to break. Unfortunately, people don't always take care of things as you'd want them to, so there's no point in spending dubious amounts of money. I get most of my kitchenware from IKEA because it's not too expensive, it lasts and it looks good. You might be surprised to see the garden in the save section, but always got to remember, I mean, you can spend a lot of money in the garden, but you really don't need to. What I love about the garden is that you can use all the things that you don't want <laughs> and you disuse things from other sections of the house and they look stunning outside, really whimsical and enchanting. The outdoors is also a really good place to use secondhand furniture. So sofas, chairs, sun lounges, things like that, that you're gonna have your own new like cushion on top of it, but the frame is a uh, second hand. And also actually this table was second hand. Talking of second hand, this was a second hand table that I bought and I didn't like how it looked, but it was a perfect shape. So DIY is another way to save. Painting this table totally changed the look of it and it cost a couple of dollars. So before you throw things away, 
have a think about whether they can be used, whether you can upcycle them, whether they can be repurposed and see what you can make of it before you throw it away. All right, so that's about it. Hopefully I've given you some food for thought there on ways that you can save and things that I would recommend you splurge on. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment if you don't mind. And until next time, we'll catch you soon.